Did you just get a Quest 3 or a 3S and open one of your old games expecting it to look like this? Instead it looks like this. Well, it's not entirely unexpected actually for a lot of games on the Quest Store. If you didn't know, these games actually do need to be updated with new performance profiles for each device that it releases on. So for example, something like Robo Recall that released back on the Quest 1, that just hasn't been updated, you know, since it released, it would have a performance profile that matches the Quest 1's capabilities. Well, there's a couple ways we can fix that. One of those is by downloading and installing SideQuest onto our headsets. I already have a tutorial already up on my channel, so if you haven't, go watch that as the other method I'm going to be looking at will also need you to sideload the app onto your headset. The other method is going to be downloading and installing the Quest Game Optimizer app, but I'll link the developer's tutorials down below, as they have two tutorials, one that only requires you to have the headset itself and downloading your free file manager tool, and the other requiring you to sideload the file just with the computer just like with SideQuest before. And from what I can tell for both SideQuest and both ways of installing Quest Game Optimizer, it does require you to already have a developer mode uh, active on your headset to either install or work for that matter. So if you're interested in getting your older games to run better, then which one is right for you? Well, I think there's a few categories we can look at here. Ease of installation, ease of use, such customization, price, and then I'll just say my personal preference later on as well. So for ease of installation, since you're most likely going to have the developer mode already on, there's not much of a difference between the two. For a side quest, all you need to do is install the APK onto your headset, then log in your headset to your account via your computer. Then in the app, when you go to headset settings, internals wireless ADB, just accept the prompt, and then you should be able to change your settings system-wide. Meanwhile, with Quest Game Optimizer, you have to install the APK via PC side quest app or via file manager on your headset, assuming you already have developer mode already enabled. Once installed, you then have to enable ADB via pairing code, which does only take an extra minute or two, which honestly isn't too bad, but it is a little bit more involved. So for ease of installation, I'm going to be giving it to SideQuest here. As for the price, this is going to be a quick point to go over. SideQuest is free, you don't got to pay for it. Just install it via the PC app and you're all good to go. But Quest Game Optimizer does actually cost money. Currently, Quest Game Optimizer costs $12 normally, but it does sometimes go on sale. Like during the writing of this video, it was on sale for $6, but it also does have a, what's called a premium extension, which is sold for $3, which does add a little bit more functionality, like changing settings mid-game with a test feature creating four personal profiles and a few other things, but it's not required to use the app at all. And I've been using it for quite a while without it, so you can feel free to ignore that extra little extension. So for price, SideQuest easily wins this category again since it's free and doesn't involve potentially multiple different purchases. Now for ease of use, which I think is honestly the most important thing here. For both of these options, you need to be connected to a network of some sort. If you are either not connected to a network or have Wi-Fi disabled, both of these won't work. I did also test this with a wireless hotspot on my phone, and it seems to have worked with just that, fortunately. Anyways, for SideQuest, these settings for it are all in one place, just being the SideQuest app. You are able to change everything system-wide, which for the most part is great, unless you want to play one game at a lower FPS with high resolution like Robo Recall, or if you want to play a game at a higher FPS and lower resolution like Beat Saber. Then you do have to reopen the app, change your settings to whatever you think works for the app, and probably either have it written down or remembered. So if you don't mind having to switch back and forth through settings for each game, SideQuest should be fine for you. Meanwhile, with Quest Game Optimizer, the app does keep various different performance profiles for you to use on each game. So if you want to use the default profiles that come with the app that already have been tested, then you just pick a profile and hit play without having to think much more about it. Also, with Quest Game Optimizer, you can set it so it takes over one of the default shortcuts that can't be removed from your menu, so you can have more things pinned. So for example, if you've never used the Horizon feed, you can make it so Quest Game Optimizer opens instead of the feed whenever you actually try to open it. But having the pre-made profiles is a big help instead of having to either memorize profiles or set them before starting each game. Quest Game Optimizer also does have a nice UI that shows you each of your games that you have installed and kind of gives you a little preview of whatever uh, profile you selected last time so you can just click on it and it'll automatically start with that profile. Another thing the Quest Game Optimizer does if you have a certain setting enabled is when you start a game just from a normal, normal library as well, it'll also enable the most recently picked profile you used so you don't even have to open a Quest Game, game Optimizer to use it. So for ease of use slash customization, I'm going to give it to Quest Game Optimizer. The simple UI and many choices for different default profiles makes it an amazing option to choose if you don't want to mess with your settings and, you know, potentially mess something up or overheat your headset. So with all that, personally, I prefer using Quest Game Optimizer over SideQuest. It may cost a little bit of money, but it doesn't honestly that much considering the features that it comes with and the convenience of having a ton of premium profiles for you to use. So if you don't have the money or just don't want to spend the money, SideQuest is a completely fine, fine alternative to use, since you'll most likely already be using that to sideload other games as well. And it is more of a set it and forget it option, since again, 
the profile you selected is supposed to be uh, system wide. So with that, I believe you should hopefully now be informed enough, or at least a little bit more, on which method you should use to get your older games to look better on the Quest. And it shouldn't take that long to make, but if anyone wants to see a dedicated video on how to install Quest Game Optimizer, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and just like the videos that are linked on the itch.io page. Otherwise, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.